so good to be here with amongst customers that we haven't seen for four years now. So that interaction has been vital, and it's a great opportunity for us to get get the the clients and customers exposed to the new technology that we that we're proposing. Well, IFAD is for us, of course, the most important uh, trade show we have in the world and it's running really great. After these four years, we are uh, the world's first uh, producer of bringing a hydrogen fuel cell truck, which is totally emission free, uh, to uh, the street. And uh, with these innovations, uh, we can grow in the UK market and I'm sure uh, we will do because we already know from our municipal and private customers uh, that they like this product. I think what's really exciting is coming here and seeing, you know, the, the next generation which are hydrogen cell, you know, we just need to get some money together so we can kind of move forward with that. This is the future. It's the future of refuse collection. And the UK local authorities have to jump on the bandwagon now. They have to move their trucks to hydrogen. The interest uh, for us uh, is electric. Electric and H2. It's important for us uh, to have uh, the possibility uh, for blue power. Um, H2 technology is uh, very important for us. We have to um, see what we buy in the next years. It's a new way we have to go for long years. It's the, the future technology. There is no CO, CO2 pollution in the, in, the, in the city area and uh, uh, probably uh, with the energy consumption and the ener energy storage system, the, the hydrogen will be the, the future technology, I think. We invest a lot of millions into these new technologies. We have our own hydrogen uh, technology. There we, you can see our blue power uh, truck with an, with an electric drivetrain and a fuel cell as a um, charger for the battery with the same payload conditions like, like a combustion engine and that is a very good solution uh, for the climate change. We have over 200 vehicles on our fleet and that generates quite a large percentage of our um, climate emissions. So we looked at this, um, we were looking for vehicles, we were looking at electric, uh, electric vehicles, hydrogen vehicles and actually we came across and just had conversations with Found Zoller who had the blue power vehicle. This is the future. They are just talking about technical details. They want to know all the technical tiny things. So the, the main discussion is already done. We are no longer discussing whether we should go with hydrogen or not. This is, this is done, this is decided. The local authorities in Britain, for example, have got a, a massive colossal challenge to go from diesel to decarbonisation. And I think it's, it would be absolutely superb if, if the, the, the local authorities from Britain could visit such a, a location with all the technology and innovation at hand and see it in real life rather than through the lens.